In this lecture, we are going to start a new module in HyperMesh that is about meshing of plastic component. So till now in this course we had learned about 1D meshing, 2D meshing and 3D meshing. Okay, so when we worked on 2D meshing, basically we had worked on sheet metal component. Sheet metal components are of uniform thickness. But in case of plastic component, these are component of variable thickness and in plastic component the complexity of the geometry is very high means they are very highly complex structures okay so first of all let me open up a file i will go to import here and here go to import geometry here click on first of all remove all then click on browse so go to the plastic folder in your project file and let me open up the file this one and then here select all these default values and click on import and once this file is imported you can see this is basically a bumper of the automotive car so bumper is basically a plastic component so i will click on close here and let me zoom in onto this and when i zoom in here you can see there are some complex geometries okay so here you will see some complex shape these are type of locking here you can see now when you do the meshing of plastic component this is a very complex work so for the plastic we have two types of meshing one is we can do a 3d solid tetra meshing second one is we can do a 2d meshing Generally, we do not do the tetra meshing here because the thickness of plastic part is very small. Because of that, we will get a very smaller tetra element. Because of the smaller tetra element, number of nodes and element will be very high and the solution time will be very high in these types of geometries. So another option here is we use the mid meshing. For example, let's say I have this geometry. So first thing we do when we work on the 2D meshing is first of all we need to extract the 2D faces or we need to extract the mid surface. So let's see what happens when we extract the mid surface of this type of complex geometry. Go to geometry here you will see mid surface and click on surface displayed. Now click on extract mid surface. So it is going to take some time to extract the mid surface. So once the mid surface is extracted, I will click on return and let's go to the mid surface. So here go to component, isolate the mid surface, isolate only. And you will see that we do not get a proper mid surface in case of complex plastic component. Here, if I zoom in here, you can see we get this type of mid surface, which is useless. So the, pro, so, the, so the thing comes, how can we do the meshing of this type of component? So this middle surface is useless. I will right click and delete this. And I will open up this part and I will, and I will show this part here. Now there are two methods of doing the meshing of this type of plastic component. One method is we can use the auto mesh option in hyper mesh. So, if you go to the mesh option here, you will go to create, you will go to 2D element. Okay, not here. If you go to the mid surface option, you will see mid surface and mid mesh. With this mid mesh, we can do the auto mesh option. And another way is we need to use the offset option. Offset means if you go to this part, you can see, let's say I will take up this face. Okay, so for this face, let's say i will go to mixed option from here what we can do is we can manually create a mesh onto this face and then we can offset it to its mid surface this is one more option again this is a very time consuming option and generally the meshing of plastic component takes more time so you need to spend hours or hours to do the plastic meshing of a small component and then we need to project that mesh onto the mid surface and then we need to apply a property or thickness to that mid surface. So in the upcoming lectures, we are going to learn how to do the meshing, how can we 
improve the element quality and how can we apply the property to all these types of plastic component.